This is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by, I guess we have to say, super middleweight contender now, Mark Heffron. Yeah. Mark, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you, man. Um, buzzing to be back. Yeah, two days ago, uh, as we talk now, I've just dated the interview, it might not go out today, but Saturday night, um, back in Oldham and back in action. Yeah. After, what, nearly yeah. a year out? You must be pretty yeah, happy yeah. back out there. Yeah, I'm buzzing to be back out. Um, been... November the 4th, April, last time I bought, it's been like, nearly a year. Um, got new training stuff now with Joe Gallagher. So, yeah, we've just got a bit of a comeback fight, hold them. And, uh, yeah, I went to plan uh, stuff that I was working on with Joe. And, um, I did in the fight. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. And we haven't seen you in the ring since that second uh, fight with uh, Denzel Bentley, of course, for the British title at yeah. middleweight. Yeah. What prompted A, the, the decision finally, because I've spoken to you since then and you were talking about potentially super middle, maybe still middle. Yeah. What's made you decide to fix on super middle and what made you join Joe Gallagher? Uh, well, the, the way, uh, I'm all, I, all, I, go, I always go to around about 13, 6, like, and I'm still quite ripped at that, do you know what I mean? Like, so I, I was always coming around down from, I was around about that way down to 11 stone 6 and I, every time I was getting to around about... 12 3, 12, it started getting tight. Do you know what I mean? It started getting proper hard. Then getting under 12 stone, it's like it was killing me. Like the week of the fight, I was literally, I was barely eating anything. Do you know what I mean? Um, then once I got down to 11 10, I, I, I'd be laying in my room like I could hardly even stand up. Like, you know what I mean? And then getting that last bit, I was just, just killing me. Like, because like, no, I'm, I'm a good size normally. Do you know what I mean? I'm, like, I'm not massive, but I mean, like, I'm normally a good size. Like, and then I just felt like I was burning muscle and that, you know, like getting the weight off to get to 11.6 and then not enough time to put it all back on. And so, I mean, I'm sparring in the gym. I know I'm sparring, not fighting, but like, I was feeling that strong in the gym, like up at like 12.10, you know what I mean? Feeling really good, like always wobbling people and hurting people and dropping people and, you know, and just getting down to it, just killing me at 11.6, yeah. So, obviously, I sports my manager. And when I, when I teamed up with Joe Gallagher, he said straight away, like, listen, I want you to put some middleweight. I think your mind was better put that way. So obviously I just went with them like they they know they know it, do you know what I mean? So I just let uh, listen to them and yeah, um, not really been a good listener over the years, but uh <laughs> listen now. <laughs> You're still only 29, it's not too late. Yeah, um, I know, yeah. Mate, I feel mint, I feel like I feel mint, do you know what I mean? Like I feel really good, I feel strong. I'm glad to hear it. What what um prompted the decision to join Joe Gallagher? Obviously he's a world class trainer, but why yeah. did you move on from your previous team and then join Joe? Just little things that they didn't like, like Michael Jennings and Dave Jennings, the two two top men, the proper like or anything. But I just didn't didn't really like the way they train the fighters and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Just that's like nothing, nothing major. Like just I just didn't like the way they they, they did like the train them and stuff. So and Joe, Joe Gallagher, I was, I was with Joe, but just over ten years ago, I had my first two fights with Joe Gallagher, and uh, obviously I was young. And then uh, the management team that I was with back then, they were just they were just messing me about and. And um, I don't know, so I ended, ended up just moving on. Like, there's no reason for it at all. But for the last six years or something, I've been trying to get like, I've been trying to get back with like, back with Joe in it. And uh, obviously, Joe's always had a big stable. And the thing with Joe, like, he wouldn't just let that like, if he's got if, if he's got his team good, like, he doesn't just let anybody in for the sake of it. You know what I mean? And and uh, I, I understood that. And at the time, he's had obviously had Kent Cal Smith and everything, and Lee Smith. They had a good stable. So he just he wouldn't just let anyone just come for the sake of it, you know what I mean? So now and I can notice that um Callum that had left and I thought now I think now now would be, be the time to get back with Joe. So I got my, got on to my manager Kevin and uh he saw the extra help for me. What has changed about your training since you've joined Joe? Because you said a lot of the stuff you've been working on in the gym you did in the ring on Saturday. What what sort of stuff has he added? Just um yeah, movement and countering and my, obviously my jab, um but for this fight, it was like he always wanted me taking a half step back. Like when he stepped in, just half step back and countering. You know what I mean? And I went, I watched it back, and I was running there. I was working on that, and like, and another thing, like when he was like, because he was southway, like he wanted me slipping on the outside and counter with a left hook, and obviously looking to slip right uppercut, and just little things. Like, I was like, like what? Obviously, I want like an outstanding opponent. You know what I mean? But just I needed someone like you know just just to practice these things on. So when I do like when I do move on, you know what I mean? I can. 
start doing the stuff, yeah, and uh, obviously I've practiced some inspiring. Um, but yeah, like the, the opponent, I, I got him on pretty short notice, and you know, we all know Southport are all for that, you know I mean? so I was panicking a bit. I said to Kevin, can you help you not get me like an orthodox? But Kev said, no, you'll be fine with him, so I swam with it and got the knockout. What's the sparring been like? Has it been pretty similar to where you were before, or has the sparring gone up a notch, would you say, since you've moved over? No, nah, the sparring's been uh, probably pretty, pretty much the same. Like, you know, because obviously I, I won't start like, fighting anyone picking like, at the top of the game. Just, I knew it was going to be like a bit of a journey, man. Uh, got, I, I did have good sparring. Like, I, I did, a, I did, I sparred with Callum Johnson, sparred with a couple of lads from Kieran Farrell's gym. Thanks for that, Kieran. Um, who else just sparred? No, uh, yeah, I had like uh, I had like four or five spars. But yeah, like but, but yeah. And you said last time we spoke a few months ago, you were saying Lennox Clark would be a fight you'd be pretty keen to take, British champion at super middle. He's got a defence lined up against Zach Chelly, I think, yeah. uh, in the new year. Yeah. He's, he's out before then, but he's got he's, yeah. that's going to be early twenty twenty two. Is that still yeah. a fight that you'd you'd like to target? Yeah, definitely, one hundred percent. The um, Lennox Clark's a good fighter. He's a big, strong lad. I think. Uh, I think, be, I think it like Styles make fights, and I think that'd be a top fight, yeah. Um, hopefully, we can get that fight on. Just leave that to my management team and my, my promoter, Frank Warren. Hopefully, they, they'll get it on, yeah. So, I'll be ready you, for it when they do. Have you had much discussion with Frank now? You're back up in weight. Obviously, you've got a new trainer. The, the last fight was on a small hall show, but have you had much talk about Frank about getting you back out on one of the bigger shows? I spoke to my manager before, Kevin, and uh, he said he'd been in contact with uh, Warren, just waiting for to get back to him now, and then uh, they're going to start talking like big, like bigger fights. Yeah, hopefully I can get out this uh, one more time this year, maybe an eight rounder, just an eight rounder, get one more in. I hear that. Um, I've been reading that um, Lyndon and Yard are going to get it on again, mm. so hopefully I can get on the undercard of that in a, in a, in a decent eight rounder, and then uh, I think I'll be ready then for the, for the big fights. Well, there's a press conference for that tomorrow, so I'll, I'll put, put a word in for you while I'm there. Yeah, that'd be good. Thank you. I don't know if I have any influence at all, though, <laughs> but, but I'll say it. I'll yeah, thanks for that. Um, how's everything going outside the ring? Obviously, you, you've got a young family. Your daughter's, what, four? Um, four yeah. and a half, maybe now. Yeah. How's, all, how's all that going? You've had to, some time at home as well. That must be nice. Yeah, everything's been going all right. To be honest, four weeks ago now, my mum passed away, didn't she? Yeah, but, um, I saw on um, Facebook of condolences yeah. for your loss. I've been absolutely devastated about that. So I think, like, obviously it's, it's been been horrible for me that. But having that fight lined up, a lot of people was like saying, "Are you, you going to pull out?" You gonna... I was like, "No," because obviously that I felt like that fight it didn't, it didn't take my mind off it, but it just kept me you know, kept me on the straight and narrow a bit. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to start going out drinking. You know, or I don't drink anyway. Like, do you know what I mean? I only have drink once, twice at Christmas time. But, but now, like, I think that fight it kept me on the straight and narrow. And, yeah, it's kept me kept me busy training twice a day. If I'm not training, I'm at home tired or so sleeping, training, same same stuff, different day. Like, so it, it did keep my mind off it a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Was she? I'm assuming you don't mind talking about this, but was she quite kind of invested in your boxing career? Was it something? She, was she at a lot of the fights or anything? Well, growing up, I don't think she missed an amateur fights. So she was at them all, and then when she seen that we were getting hit harder, and, <laughs> and then the sport started becoming more serious, then. Nah, she, she, she took a step back and uh, she stopped coming to all my fights. Uh, she wouldn't watch a fight until she knew it was over and we'd won. Or, but yeah, but she wouldn't, she, she wouldn't like watch one of my fights live now until it was over and she knew the outcome and stuff, yeah. I think that's mums generally though, isn't it? They try mm, to take a yeah. step back when you turn pro and then the dads yeah, yeah. kind of are, are a bit more involved usually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, you, you must miss her terribly, but I'm sure she oh, was yeah. incredibly... Me and my mum was very, that, me and my mum was like really close, you know what I mean? Uh, Love my mum to pieces, and um, yeah, I'm just I can, I'm glad it's all over. And I was just I got every day I was seeing her, she was cr like crying, she was in absolute agony and pain. Like she'd be saying stuff like she can't do this anymore, there's no stuff like it was just horrible to see. Like, and uh, like it sounds horrible, like, but I wanted it all to be over, you know what I mean? And she's in a much better place now, yeah, exactly. She, she's not in yeah. pain anymore, that's that's no, that's, that's it, yeah, it's horrible, man. No, I can imagine. Um, How's, thing, how's your daughter, by the way, Poppy? She doing Poppy, well? She, <laughs> man, she, uh, she keeps me on my toes, definitely. Uh, but yeah, she's really good. Uh, she's uh, she's in nursery, proper nursery now. She's she pride. 
it's crazy that much. She proper looks forward to going from what I can remember. <laughs> I never liked school, do you know what I mean? But yeah, she, she loves it. Uh, she got the um, the head teacher's award the other day, like you know, that like, the like one of the main awards. She come home with so she was buzzing for that. Yeah, she's uh, she's really enjoying it and she's um she's definitely she's doing better than what I did in school anyway. <laughs> That's brilliant, no, it's good to hear. Yeah. Um, just before I let you go, we've asked you this before, but just tell people out there how they can find you on social media so they can keep up to date with what you're doing. Yeah, I'm on um, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, Facebook. You can, you can all catch me on there, yeah? I just want to say another thing. Um, for to say a big thank you to every single person that bought tickets to, me, uh, to my fight last um, Saturday at Oldham. Um, the support was massive. I did, I did something like 22 grand for tickets, uh, 600, just under 600 tickets are done. And um, the, the atmosphere was unbelievable. Like, I definitely, like, I definitely like to do another fight back at Oldham. I know it's only a small arena and stuff like that, but me, the atmosphere. I've been on some big shows, me, and uh, some top shows, and fighting back at Oldham, uh, it's, it's like it's unbelievable. I love this. It. It's crazy. Like, everyone's right in your face as well. Do you know what I mean? Tremendous. <laughs> yeah, all the way, like, during the fight, like, you just hear all my mates shouting. When you're in the big arenas, you can't really just, ah, you stay yeah. like that. No, no. When you're in them little ones, you can just, you can just hear everyone in it. It's meant I loved it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just thank you to them all. And a massive thank you to all my sponsors as well that have stuck with me. Great stuff, mate. Really glad to see you back on yeah. top and, and happy again. And um, yeah, thank looking you. forward to seeing you back out. Thank you very much. Thank you for the interview as well.